Australia, a land known for its stunning beaches, unique wildlife, and vast deserts. The Australian desert, an expanse covering nearly one-third of the continent, is a landscape of extremes. Scorching temperatures by day, freezing cold at night and rainfall so scarce, it's as if the clouds forget to weep. This harsh climate brings with it a host of ecological challenges. The desert soil is nutrient-poor and erodes easily, making it difficult for plant life to thrive. Moreover, the sparse vegetation offers little to no shelter for the unique wildlife that calls this desert home. Despite these trials, the desert is a place of stark beauty, a testament to life's resilience in the face of adversity. Yet, the need for reforestation in these areas is undeniable. To combat desertification, to provide habitat for wildlife, to restore the balance of nature. Reforestation, a complex yet fascinating process, has been Australia's weapon against desertification. It begins with a crucial first step, the selection of suitable native plant species. This isn't a random choice, but a meticulous process. Researchers study the native flora, identifying species that are adapted to survive in arid conditions and have the resilience to thrive. Once the right species are chosen, attention shifts to the preparation of the land. This isn't as simple as turning over soil and planting seeds. The ground is cleared of existing vegetation and debris, and sometimes even contoured to manage water flow. Additionally, soil fertility is enhanced using organic matter and nutrients to give the young plants the best possible start. Now comes the actual planting. In some cases, seeds are directly sown into the soil. In others, seedlings are grown in nurseries and then transplanted. The choice between these methods depends on the species and the specific conditions of the site. This stage is labor-intensive and often involves the local community fostering a sense of ownership and creating stewards of the land. Technology plays a significant role here too. Drones, for instance, are used to plant seeds quickly over large areas. They're also instrumental in monitoring the growth of the plants identifying areas that need extra care or replanting. After the planting, the aftercare begins. This involves regular watering, weeding, and protection from pests and diseases. It's a continuous long-term commitment to ensure the survival and growth of the new forest. Community involvement is essential in this stage as well. Local communities not only help in the physical work, but also in monitoring the progress. They become the eyes and ears on the ground alerting authorities to any potential threats to the young forest. The reforestation process is a testament to human ingenuity and resilience. It's a blend of traditional knowledge, modern technology, and community spirit. And thus, slowly but surely, the barren lands start to transform. The results of these reforestation efforts are nothing short of miraculous. A once barren and desolate landscape is now teeming with life. The return of biodiversity is evident in the variety of plants, birds, and animals now populating these new green spaces. The benefits extend beyond just the return of wildlife. The soil health has improved dramatically with reforestation. The trees and plants are revitalizing the soil, making it more fertile and less prone to erosion. This contributes to the sustainability of the entire ecosystem. Moreover, these new forests serve as carbon sinks. They absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and help mitigate the effects of climate change. It's a win-win situation, both for the environment and for us. Looking at the long-term vision of the project, it's clear that the goal is to create a sustainable, thriving ecosystem that will benefit future generations. Australia's deserts are gradually turning into green havens one tree at a time. So, what can we learn from Australia's reforestation efforts? The process is intricate, involving careful planning, persistent execution, and adaptive management. The challenges are significant, from harsh desert conditions to environmental constraints. Yet, the results are astonishing, transforming barren landscapes into thriving ecosystems. The impacts are far-reaching, affecting local communities, wildlife, and the global climate. Australia's journey from desert to forest is a testament to human determination and nature's resilience. It's a story of hope and a lesson for us all.